Hey, it's Zach. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a pheasant tail nymph. This fly, it really only has two ingredients for it. Pheasant tail and just copper wire. So, here we go. I'm starting out with dot black thread and wrapping down. Where I'm going to tie in my pheasant tail. Now, look at, there's two sides of a pheasant tail. There's like a kind of grayish area, and then there's just nice side right over here. I'm just going to, I'm taking the grayish area because it's more natural looking in the water. So I got a few strands, and I'm just going to, Tie this on. All right. And now I'm going to get my copper wire here. And I'm going to tie that on. The copper wire is for protection of, like, you know how the fish bites and it really f it could fray up your fly and damage it a lot this helps prevent that from happening just like on the elk hair caddis I used that uh, fishing line to protect the hackle fibers same idea right now I'm going to build up an abdomen here so when I wrap the pheasant tail it'll have a base This is a beadless pheasant tail nymph. You could add a bead. Actually, I would recommend using a bead, but I don't have any. So, I'm just going to have to make one plain. So, I'm just taking my my pheasant fibers, fibers and I'm just wrapping them down my abdomen. Until, there you go. This is where, let's give it one more wrap. Okay, this is where I'm just going to tie off my fibers. Okay, I'm just going to take my scissors and just snip them off. And I'm going to take my copper wire just make a little wire rib. This also adds a bit of flash to it. There you go. Okay, I'm taking my bad scissors to cut off the wire. Okay, now I'm going to take that other side of the pheasant tail and I'm snipping that off and I'm taking the dull side of the tail and here's the shiny side I'm using the dull side and I'm putting that upward and I'm just tying that in with it facing up alright and now I'm going to take a bit more of those dull kind of fibers and I'm making a wing a few wraps there and a few wraps there Okay. I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to slightly dub so it builds up a nice head. I'm going to be using some of this grayish brown dubbing. 
just a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to bring my thread up to the head and I'm going to take these pheasant fibers and just bring it forward. Uh oh. This might happen to you when your thread snaps. I'm just going to put it back on. No big deal. Okay, let's see if we can catch my thread up again. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna just whip finish. And that's it. My pheasant tail and then give the fishes some fast moving water. And it is a great trout fly. Thanks for watching.